Charlie Ward. He is interviewing a young lady named Sabrina who was a victim of childhood trafficking into her adulthood. It started where she was sold to a coven. These witches' covens are everywhere, and they hide in every town. And I think that they take positions in town, like in the government and places like that. Um, and it's like they're hiding in plain sight. It's like they're hiding in plain sight. It's like they're hiding in plain sight. And the biggest problem is, is a lot of these people are not who we think they are. These are people oh, in power. Wow. I know. These are well-known people actors. who have a really great per yeah. professional image. Look. Image, thank you. Yeah. Most, in fact. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I was sold uh, first into, um, they called it their coven. Um, and so it was the coven of, and I'm not going to say the rest of it, but it's darkness, okay? In part of the name, they worshipped certain demonic entities, um, and they made sacrifices on the weekly. And these were human sacrifices. I was told in there before I was 18 months old and um, included in being owned by that group uh, was being just trafficked sexually as a child, but also into um, human trials for scientific research or just some masochistic dude who needs to take stuff out on a kid or um, transporting illegal substances from one country to another. Um, when I very first saw you, Charlie, um, I swore I knew you. And then I heard you talk. And I can, I swear to you, I've met you before on a private plane um, going to one I wish I had a map right here with me. Hold on, hold on. Did Sabrina just say she recognizes and remembers Charlie Ward from the private jets from when she was trafficked as a child? Um, there's an island that's down. Did you go to many islands? I went to um, islands, but they were in the Far East rather than the, the, the Caribbean side. Um, I went to them all the, over the world. The Philippines, um, um, Thailand, uh, off those coasts is there one off right off of japan not like okinawa but like if you went further out just a little bit There's quite a few islands there but i've never been to those ones you've never been to those okay because that's where no. i keep thinking but anyway um like i could be wrong but i swore i swear but anyway yeah there were always business people on these flights and charlie says oh no 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 i wasn't on those flights not the ones that you're talking about i never went to uh, the caribbean who mentioned the caribbean it's funny he mentions his trips to Thailand. I had uh, one of his friends of 15 years contact me and uh, he told me to ask Charlie about his yearly six week trips to Thailand. It's like they're hiding in plain sight. Really, many, many years ago, I was in, involved with a, a certain television personality that allowed me access into the BBC. I used to be able to get onto a very famous program called Top of the Pops. And a lot of the girls would say to me, Charlie, Charlie, get me on top of the pops. And I could take probably five or ten girls on a week. And I said, well, I'll take you on, but you'll end up having to shag the bloke that, you know, he'll probably want to shag. <laughs> and there was bad things going on there because a lot of these girls were, were young girls, you know. Um, it's like they're hiding in plain sight. Charlie states that he was involved in moving large amounts of money around for the elite people in positions of power and government officials. This instantly rang my alarm bells, and it should do yours. I've worked behind the scenes with government now for at least 15 years, at least 15 years, moving currency around the world. And so I've been doing that for a number of years. I've always been Between honest, the right? super rich and governments. And you tend to find that they're both interlinked. I've been moving money around the world for a number of private clients. One interpretation of currency is exchanging goods or services. What goods and services was Charlie um, moving around for the elites and, you know, high up politicians and government officials? It's like they're hiding in plain sight. Friends with Jack Kidd. 
Jack Kidd is a semi-famous uh, polo player and brother of uh, semi-famous uh, Jody Kidd. He's also the brother of Gemma Kidd, who owns a makeup company whose director is none other than Ghislaine Maxwell. Gemma Kidd Makeup Limited. Jack Edward Kidd. We've then got Gemma Kidd, of course. She's the director. 1974, appointed in 2005. British makeup artist. And then this. But he was on the same company which Gemma had. Yeah, that's right. He's his name was back onto there as a director, and I think Jelaine Maxwell was on there as well. Also on there, uh, a shareholder, Lord Rothschild, which is quite interesting. So you know that the families are the Shan kids; they're part of the British royal family. Sorry, say that again. The kid family are linked to the royal family. Royal family. The Shan kids, aren't they? It's like they're hiding in plain sight. There was massive controversy when uh, big uh, Q accounts, including uh, John Galt and Santa Surfing, called Charlie Ward out on the fact that he had a white rabbit in the background of all of his videos. When questioned on this, uh, Charlie swiftly blocked John Galt. The question was around the symbology of the white rabbit that in fact that it meant human trafficking uh, and child trafficking so so why was charlie ward presenting this in the background well i investigated let's let's talk about um this controversy because uh, i <laughs> i don't understand oh that was that was hilariously funny for me anyway mm. so, so you know they've pointed out this, this white rabbit you know this so... one's just for you Oh, uh, you got it there. <laughs> I've heard from from a few people. I've said that you'd given a couple of different answers. Uh, what was the it? On the, was, the it was very very simple. We were doing a transaction, um, and one of my guys said, "If we've started work, stick a white rabbit up on your picture behind you." It was that simple. We were doing something that was discreet that um, you don't talk about on the phones, and he just said to me, "If if, if it's a, if it's a go." stick a white rabbit up now stuck it up there on the day and it caused absolute mayhem which was brilliant what was the business deal charlie what what were you uh what was a go what was the business deal what were you uh ready to trade so i i, I mean i've seen i've seen a few of your videos charlie uh and you know i'm very interested by by what you do i know you do a lot of videos i thought i'd seen that white rabbit for a while and i just saw it as part of the background but maybe i'm wrong um was it just did it go up that day and suddenly it went it was... up that day and it came down that day and it's amazing how people read into things you know the white rabbit um is a name for human traffickers and this is why it was no it had nothing to do with that had absolutely nothing to do with that the white rabbit in my opinion had to do with alice in wonderland looking down a rabbit hole that's where i know it from there's always other people's interpretation um, but that was nothing to do with that either. It was all to do with the question that I was asked to do with our own business that had nothing to do with anything to do with uh, uh, with social media. And it was just simply just an answer that we were working, we'd started work on a certain project. It's like they're hiding in plain sight. Jeff, that's one of the, uh, in the that's the only dumb I know of in Wales that, uh, that I've betted. Okay. Uh, I know there's others, and in Scotland, I know some, but I haven't vetted them. Uh, but I do know of several others in Ireland, two in Ireland, and a in a in a grunge of them in England. Yeah, I've actually been down in two of them in Bath, one in Lansdowne, and one the other side of Bath, and uh, that was thirty years ago. So this guy moved the money around for the elites and was within those circles and had access to these dumbs where these uh, human trafficked, you know, these, these child trafficking took place, where these children were kept. Uh, how did he have access to them? Um, what was his involvement around the dumbs that he speaks of? Or is he just making this up to seem important? If he is, just like the uh, Top of the Pops thing, um, you shot yourself in the foot there, mate. It's like they're hiding in plain sight. I've moved billions and billions and billions of dollars around the world in cash on private jets. And I've written in my, my, my book of, about that, where before I met my wife 10 years ago, my private jets were full of cocaine, champagne and hookers. And that was great fun moving money around. 
nowadays I've got diplomats and bodyguards and it's pretty damn boring. Um, uh, it's not quite the same. When I very first saw you, Charlie, um, I swore I knew you. And then I heard you talk. And I can, I swear to you, I've met you before on a private plane um, going to one. I wish I had a map right here with me. Is there one off right off of Japan? Not like Okinawa, but like if you went further out just a little bit. There's quite a few islands there, but I've never been to those ones. You've never been to those, okay, because that's where no. I keep thinking. But anyway, um, like I could be wrong, but I swore. I swear. But anyway. It's like they're hiding in plain sight. 